Hello, Bone Island. It's April 24th, and I'm your mayor, Gary Ander, here with another weekly update. I'd like to talk about a couple of different things this week. First off, I'd like to thank all the essential service workers for everything they're doing to keep our community running. Our drinking water and roads maintenance crews, our grocery store staff, our pharmacy staff, delivery and mail personnel, healthcare workers, uh, the building center staff, and of course, our first responders. They're out there in the front lines every day providing, providing all the necessities that we need so that we can stay home and uh, isolate and uh, bring this thing to an end and hopefully flatten the curve here so that we can carry on with our lives. We see you and we thank you. Speaking of first responders, I'd like to remind you that the 9-11 dispatch, police, firefighters and ambulance drivers are still on the job every day taking care of emergencies that are not related to COVID-19. And I think it's essential that you know, and I know there's probably a lot of anxiety out there that um, we have to be very careful, but it is, uh, we've been told by Greg that we're coastal, that it's, it's business as usual at the hospital, especially Lionsgate, uh, you wouldn't notice that there would be any difference. So you, the COVID-19 section is totally isolated. So if you're feeling ill, by all means, don't, um, don't feel like you can't go to the hospital and get some attention because it's all there for you. And uh, as I said, the authorities of the Vancouver Coastal Health assure us that the hospitals continue to be safe for patients. There are strict protocols in place to make sure that COVID-19 is not transmitted in their facilities. So it's nothing to worry about. If you need urgent or emergency medical care, please don't wait to get it. At the same time, you can help reduce the pressure on our healthcare system and first responders um, by not willingly engaging in risky activities. This is probably not the time to um, uh, maybe start cliff diving or uh, hang gliding as a, as a hobby right now. Let's try to reduce the stress on the, on the medical system by you know, just being prudent about our daily activities. The next thing I want to talk about is our new, uh, excuse me, a new partnership with the Bowen Island Community Foundation. We have teamed up to, they, while well, we have teamed up as a municipality with the Community Foundation to offer two new grant streams in response to COVID-19. Both are available to groups and private citizens on Bowen Island. The Community Resiliency Grant provides systems level grants to address three priority areas where there is a gap in government assistance and other relief programs. The other one is a responsive neighborhood small grants, which fund small scale projects that reduce social isolation. So both of these, both of these grants are coming out of the foundation through the municipality. And they are there just, as it says, to fill the gaps for where the government isn't coming in to be able to assist people, especially the social isolation and stuff like that. They're trying to get a real web going on Bowen Island to make sure that, that nobody gets, gets forgotten about out there because there's a lot of people that are self-isolating isolating that don't have the transportation and that sort of thing or the communication network that a lot of the others have. So they're working on this very hard. Uh, we'd like to thank the Community Foundation for dreaming up these important initiatives that will keep our community resilient and able to recover sooner after this crisis. Uh, one thing to note about this resiliency fund is it will be an ongoing fund by the Community Foundation. And I can't say enough about what the Community Foundation has done for Bowen Island. This resiliency fund will carry on and uh, it will and money will just accrue in the fund if there is any other kind of uh, an emergency, if we have a, a huge fire on the island, or if, if um, there's an earthquake or something along those, re those lines, we can actually draw on this resiliency fund, which the uh, Community Foundation is putting together. So we're, we're very much uh, in appreciation of what they're doing. For more information about how to apply for these grants, please go to the Community Foundation's website at bowenfoundation.com or check this week's undercurrent. They've dedicated a full page to this announcement. 
Um, we're doing very well on Bowen Island. And I know that we're, we are all doing our part to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. But we're not quite out of the woods yet. As Dr. Bonnie Henry says, we need to keep our firewall strong and keep holding the line. That means making sure we are keeping our physical distance from each other, staying home as much as possible, washing our hands. And please, if you are sick in any way, or even with a cold or symptoms of COVID-19, you must stay home. This is so very important. And I know it's, uh, it's really tough out there right now because um, you're seeing everywhere that people are starting to sort of come out of this. And we are, to a certain respect, there is, there is a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. But we, it's going to be very orchestrated by the, uh, by the provincial health authorities. And they will, the one, they're the ones that will determine how we come out of this and the steps we take to come out of it. But like I say, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Things are looking a lot better than they were last week. And, uh, you know, they will take a look at all these factors and determine how we move out of this and how we open up different different aspects of uh, the economy for one thing and you know try to get people back to work which is obviously what our aim is here but the first the first thing we must do is be healthy and safeguard um, lives before we before we consider those things but it is it is happening and uh, we're in a much better place than we were two or three weeks ago that's for sure um, I'd like to remind you if there are, that there are many ways that you can connect with your local government. Uh, we, uh, whether it's participating in council meetings, which you can do now, subscribing to our e-newsletter, following us on social media, or reading our weekly island page in the undercurrent. Please go to bowenislandmunicipality.ca slash connect for more information. There's just a wealth of information and it's being updated uh, twice a day on that site. So it's a, it's a very good, very good place for information if you can get, if it's available to you. So thank you again, Bowen Island. I know you're all doing your best. I'm extremely proud of what we're doing on Bowen Island. I just uh, came back from Vancouver for the first time in six weeks. I was in Vancouver. And it's a much different place than it used to be. The, uh, there's a lot of stores obviously shut down and that sort of thing. The ones that are functioning, the essential services are functioning in at, uh, you may or may not be aware, at a very different level. And they're very conscious of social distancing and that sort of thing. And they seem to be making it work in this, in this new normal, this situation we're in. Anyway, I'm... Uh, I'm glad we're all working together here during these difficult times. And we'll get through this together, as obviously we will. It's a, it's a wonderful place to have to uh, isolate. If you're isolating on Bowen Island, we just have to make sure we keep it safe and healthy. But thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye for now.